Please all stand for the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the faithful heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your sacred heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of April. For the role of women, let us pray that the dignity and worth of women be recognized in every culture and for an end to the discrimination they face in various parts of the world. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Please all kneel for the prayer to St. Joseph. O dear St. Joseph, you are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have confidence in you, and that after Jesus and Mary, I come to you as an example for holiness, for you are especially close with God. Therefore, I humbly commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me to your intercession. I beg of you, by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon me during life and to assist me at the hour of my death, Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, pray for me to have a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my father, and my model through life, that I may die as he did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving Saint Joseph, Faithful follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. Guardian of the Word incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers on my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Saint Joseph, most just, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Monday of the fourth week of Easter. Please all stand.
Christ having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, perfect, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles, too, had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the, uncircum the circumcised believers confront confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not called to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you, by which you and all your household will be saved. 
As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remember the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the, sa the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they hear this, they stop objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for you, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go in to the altar of, the, of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Please so stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen. I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. My friends, 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Yesterday, we celebrated the Good Shepherd Sunday. Do you still remember the Gospel yesterday about the Good Shepherd in which we discussed the characteristics of a good shepherd that pertain to Jesus, our good shepherd. Today, we continue to explore about a good shepherd, but this time, it's not about his characteristics, but about his ways and actions. Hindi na tungkol sa kanyang ugali, kundi sa kanyang pamamaraan at pagkilos. Our gospel tells us that whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gate. Alam niyo po, ang isang sheepfold, nakakita na ba kayo nun? Kasi wala sa ating sheep, no? wala ditong sheep. No, ang meron tayo siguro baboy no yun ang madala yun ang common na alagaan sa atin as livelihood no uh, kung sa sheep sheep fold no? sa atin kural sa baboy kural yung yung kulungan niya no kulungan <clears throat> yung kulungan may pinto ganun din ang sheep fold merong pinto and our gospel tells us that Whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. Ang tanging dumadaan sa pinto ay ang pastol. Dahil ang pastol, ginagamit niya ang tamang daan. Ginagamit niya ang pintuan at hindi dumadaan kung saan-saan. Hindi kung ano-ano ang paraan. Laging sa tama. Hindi pumupuslit ng daan, kundi laging sa tamang daan. Take note, tama, hindi dating daan. Malinaw? Sa lahat ng oras, lugar, at maging anumang mga sitwasyon, ang mabuting pastol, laging sa tamang daan, ang kanyang paraan. A good shepherd always takes the right way and never the wrong way. Because according to St. John, according to our gospel, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate but climbs over elsewhere, kung saan-saan dumadaan, is a thief and a robber. Malinaw? Kapag ang isang tao hindi dumaan sa tamang daan, hindi yan mabuting pastol. Kapag ang tao ay nasa maling daan, hindi yan mabuting pastol. Kaya wag mong susundan. Kapag siya ay gumagawa ng maling paraan, hindi yan mabuting pastol. Kaya wag mong lalapitan dahil sigurado ililigaw kanyan. Malinaw, kapag ang tao mali ang paraan at kung saan-saan dumadaan, hindi yan mabuting pastol. Pero bakit tayo minsan, no? Ang hilig natin, dumaan sa maling daan. Gustong umasenso sa buhay, pero maling daan ang tinatahak. Gustong makapasa no? sa medical, pero maling paraan. Nandadaya, ba't ganun? Nagdadasal naman, nagsimba pa yan, no? Pero paglabas, ganun pa rin. Maling paraan ang tatahakin. Sinong mali na doon? Yung sinusundan o mali talaga ang iyong paraan? 
And that is why in our first reading, St. Paul led the Gentiles to the right way by preaching to them the Word of God. St. Paul led the Gentiles, the non-believers, yung mga walang pananampalataya, dinala niya sa tamang daan sa pamamagitan ng pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos. He never used any other words but God's. There was no other basis of life but God's. And so in the end, the Gentiles changed their ways and took the right way. My dear brothers and sisters, a good shepherd never uses other ways but the right way. Kaya tayo naliligaw minsan kung kani-kanino tayo sumusunod, kung sino-sino ang ating sinusundan, kaya nga dapat nagsisimba para nakakarinig ng mga pangaral na susundan, kaya nakakarinig ng mga example na ating susundan na tamang daan. Because a good shepherd never uses other ways but the right way. So to know, if you are following a good shepherd, check your ways. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray that we may listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd who guides us in the right path and protects us from dangers of any kind. We pray and say, Divine Shepherd, let us listen to your voice. Divine Shepherd, listen. let us listen to your voice. May the Church ever become the house of the Heavenly Father, with doors wide open for those looking for God and from which the faithful go out to others to reach the fringes of humanity, we pray. Divine Shepherd, let us listen to your voice. Like Peter, may the leaders of the church welcome the Gentiles and Samaritans of our time, outsiders who are led by the Spirit, to the community of believers, we pray. Divine Shepherd, let us listen to your voice. May we be not swayed by the voice of strangers, the preachers, whose teachings are not in conformity with the magisterium of the church, and even attack it, we pray. Divine Shepherd, let us listen to your voice. May our faith find expression in concrete everyday actions meant to help our neighbors in body and spirit by feeding, visiting, comforting, and instructing them, we pray. Divine Shepherd, let us listen to your voice. May the Good Shepherd lead the souls of the departed into the eternal rest of God's kingdom. Amen. We pray. Divine Shepherd, let us listen to your voice. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Virgin de Gia, and our personal intentions. We pray. Divine Shepherd, let us listen to your voice. Grant, Almighty Father, that we may listen to the voice of your Son who directs us to the path that leads you, that leads to your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, I am not worthy that you should enter, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our